The map art effect is a great way of adding artwork to objects put in 3D space. It can be that instant wow factor added to your designs, so it's a good idea to learn it. I think that it would be easiest for you to learn the map art effect if you created a 3D logo along with me. You can use the file attached to this section or start a new document from scratch. The size of the document doesn't really matter, anything that will make your work comfortable will be correct. Now, if you want to use the file attached, start with duplicating the artboard without its contents. For that, head over to the Artboard tool and deselect the Copy Artwork with Artboard option in the Control Panel. Now with the Rectangle tool, create a square. Press and hold down Shift to constrain the proportions, or simply click on your artboard and enter the values for width and height manually. I'll create a square 200 pixels by 200 pixels and fill it with a color. Now clone it and move it to the side. We'll get back to it at a later stage of the process. Next, with the rectangle selected, go to the Object menu, Path, and again split into grid. Make sure that the number of rows and columns is the same and don't set any gutter. I'm going to go with 4 rows and 4 columns. All you have to do now is to remove some of the squares so the resulting gap looks like small stairs. Group the shapes and head over to the Symbols panel and from the Context menu choose New Symbol. Give your symbol a somewhat meaningful name and hit OK. Now The shape got converted into a symbol instance, but we won't need it anymore, so we can just delete it. Now let's get back to the square we cloned and put aside at an early stage of the process. Grab it and head over to the 3D effect, Extrude and Bevel. There are a few options we need to tweak here for the whole effect to look as planned. First of all, change the position to isometric right. Increase the extrude depth to the same amount as the size of your square. In my case, it's 200 pixels. Now click the Map Art button. You'll be redirected to a Map Art dialog box where you will paste the symbol onto specific planes. So make sure to turn the preview on and that the Invisible Geometry option is turned on as well. Now start adding the symbol to the surfaces. Our design is not overly complicated, so we really need just one symbol. Although to make everything align properly, we need to rotate the symbol on some of the surfaces. Sometimes you might going to have to press the Scale to Fit button to make sure that the symbol covers the surface properly. When you're done, just press the OK button twice and the Map Art part is done. To make our cube actually look like it's a 3D object, we need to play around with the colors a bit. You might have seen tutorials or courses that at this stage would advise you to expand the appearance, then ungroup the shapes till they are single objects, then maybe clean up some unnecessary paths. And if you want to do all this, be my guest, but wouldn't you like to learn a simpler, faster and easier way to add colors to 3D objects? I hope you would, because we're going to talk about it now. 
Unfortunately, we do need to expand the appearance of the cube to add colors to it. There is no way to keep it as a live artwork and colorize it dynamically. So head over to the object menu and choose Expand Appearance. The result of this transformation is a clipping mask, so the next step is to unclip it, either by going to the object menu and choosing Clipping Mask Release, or by pressing Alt plus Ctrl plus 7 on your keyboard. And that's basically it. Now we can just grab the Live Paint tool, select the colors we want and start clicking and dragging to apply the colors. It's that easy. Whatever color you choose, just remember that the right side of the cube has to be the darkest, the top one the lightest and the left one somewhere in the middle. This will simulate the way light would be cast on the surfaces of the cube. Now the absolute last step here would be to simply add your text and the whole logo is complete. This is how you can set the map art function. I highly encourage you to experiment with it because you can get some extremely creative results. You don't have to limit yourself to just cubes. Create whatever 3D shapes you want and map your art to it. Just remember that it has to be converted into a symbol first. Now this concludes the 3D effects part of the course. Next you'll learn how to use the convert to shape effect.